How we doing? I'm Cam Hayward. I play for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Um, I'm a resident. I'm a old school resident of uh, Gwinnett County. Um, went to uh, Mason Elementary. Um, went to Hull Middle School, um, and went to Peace Ridge High School, where I played football and basketball. Um, you know, graduated from there um, and went to the Ohio State University. Um, where I studied um, early education and um, went on to be drafted by the Pittsburgh Steelers. Uh, it's been a, a wild ride. Um, I've been very fortunate to um, be a part of Gwinnett County um, and, you know, uh, make sure I represent them as well, um, but then to represent, um, you know, Ohio State and uh, Pittsburgh as well. It, it's been a, a true calling of mine. Um, you know, over the years, I've um, had to deal with a lot of stuff, whether it was um, being in high school and, you know, dealing with the recruiting process while also dealing with my dad passing away um, before my senior year in high school, um, you know, in college, um, living up to expectations, um, trying to exceed those expectations, um, setting goals for myself, uh, and then, you know, um, you know, doing that while still being a student athlete. I think that's huge when you go to, um, you know, when you go to college and you're, on, you're out on your own and you have to make decisions for yourself. But, uh, you know, navigating that and then going to the NFL um, and understanding it's a whole different ball game and understanding um, the word professionalism um, doesn't go unnoticed. Um, and, Representing, you know, not only your family well, but your teammates and your city well. Uh, and I, I tried to do that throughout my time of wherever I've been, um, and trying to understand that, uh, you know, it's uh, uh, it's an honor to do what I get to do, and um, I'm very blessed. Um, you know, it's uh, it. I'm in my ten year, tenth year at uh, the Steelers, and um, I've enjoyed every single one of them. Um, the amount of teammates I've got to get to know, the coaches, uh, you know, the fans have been great, um, you know, and, you know, it's been a, a, a dream come true. Um, but, you know, it doesn't go with my, uh, my, with my loss of any, um, you know, any obstacles in my life. Um, like I said before, um, I played football and basketball in high school and, um, you know, I always thought I was going to be a two-sport athlete. Uh, wasn't as good as I was, I thought I was in basketball, but, uh, you know, I, I loved playing basketball. But, uh, um, you know, I had offers all over the all over the country, and my dad uh, had passed away. So, you know, my dad had actually played sports in, in college and in the pros. He played um, for – he played football at uh, Pitt in college and then he played 11 years in the NFL for Bears, Saints, Rams, Colts, Falcons um and I think that's it. If I miss one I'm sorry, but uh you know we, we he's played on his fair share of teams. Um he had a great um he he had a great following and so many people loved his infectious attitude. Um so living up to his legacy was always something I always uh strive for um but when he passed away it kind of left me in no man's land um you know I, I thank my mom for helping me um you know really guide me and direct me uh through the college process because it can be very tricky um you know my dad had knew all the ins and outs and now i lost my my edge but with my mom she helped me uh determine what kind of school was best for me. Um, she even looked at the death charts and where I could play, but she was more concerned with um, how I could be a better man, whether it was on the field or off the field, in the classroom, in the communities. Uh, and I think that was huge for me. You know, um, you know, I needed somewhere where I could have structure and guidance. Um, and then going to the Ohio State, uh, Coach Tressel, Jim Tressel, he did a great job of instilling that. You know, he wanted you to be a great player, but he also wanted you to be focused on other things, whether it was being in the community and, you know, visiting Children's Hospital or, you know, having good schoolwork or being um, a good man spiritually. 
Um, you know, one thing I always took from Coach Tress was we would have quiet time every day for 15 minutes. And we would just go through the list of um, who are heroes, what we strive for in this day, um, what are some quotes that stand out to you for the day that really, you know, uh, reminisce with you. Um, and it just helped prepare you for the day. And you also had long-term goals that you went over. But, you know, I, I was always very fortunate to have those type of people in my life that guided me um, along the way. Um, you know, and, you know, Coach Trust got me ready to be in the NFL. Um, he taught me how to be a man, and um, I think that was huge for me. You know, uh, not only a man, but a family man and a man of my community. And, um, you know, I, I'm very fortunate for that. Uh, you know, I think as I got to the league, I got to um, just see so many different guys and how they went about their business, whether it was Troy Polamalu or Brett Kiesel, Aaron Smith, um, Casey Hampton. Um, these guys um, had their own foundations, um, their own ways to give back. And I just got to just observe early on. Um, and it was it was beneficial for me because years later, I got to start my own foundation called the Hayward House that works with at youth, um, at youth risk. Um, and it's, uh, you know, something near and dear in my heart. The Hayward House also works with uh, uh, the brain cancer uh, Tumor Association, where, uh, or sorry about that, uh, the um, Southeastern Brain Tumor so Association. Um, we've worked with them uh, for multiple years, but, uh, you know, I work with them because my dad had uh, cancer, um, a brain tumor, exactly, and um, they've always been great to work with. But Hayward House has been awesome. Um, we've really got to help a lot of people in our communities, whether it's in Pittsburgh or Atlanta. Um, and it, it's it's one thing I, I think um, anybody can do um, is give back their community. I think giving back to your community can not only help you, um, but help to strive for our young people today. You know, as I look around and I see so many kids going through pandemic right now and trying to balance home life and um, what they want to accomplish in the future, um, you're in unprecedented times. And I think you have to be ready to weather the storm. Um, you know, we're not always going to be in a pandemic and we're going to have to find ways to um, be ready to come out of the pandemic. Um, you know, I think for me personally, over the years, I've got to, you know, always work on my craft um, year in and year out and understand where I fall short and where can I improve. And I think this pandemic has helped me, you know, do that individualist, individually and understand that um, I can't always have a coach to rely on, but now I have to be my own coach. And, uh, you know, I have to, you know, break my, myself down, find where I fall short and say, when I come out of this pandemic, I want to be better than that. And I want to strive for more because of that. Um, you know, I think this has given us discipline and time to really focus on those things, as well as being a good uh, family person. You know, I think family goes a long way. Um, you know, I have three kids um, and a beautiful wife, uh, one boy and two girls, um, and I'm already outnumbered. And um, I feel bad for anyone who doesn't, who has just straight daughters, because it's something I'm scared about in the future. But uh you know, I'm, I'm very blessed to have um, my family along with this, but um, for anybody going through, um, you know, the college process or dealing with a death of a loved one or, um, you know, just the adversity that's gone on throughout this year, I just ask that you take time to reflect on where we can improve as people and how you can improve in your community. Um, because when we do get out of this pandemic, and I think we will, um, you know, there's going to be a, there's going to be a time where you get to address that. There's going to be a time to say, Hey, I'm ready for the moment now. Hey, I'm ready to succeed at this. Um, you know, even throughout my times where my, uh, I got hurt, um, you know, and I think it was my seventh year. I hadn't been to the pro bowl. I hadn't done all pro. Um, but you know, I got hurt in the game. I tore my pec completely off the bone. And it was, you know, gut-wrenching to me uh, to know my season was ended after that game. It was the middle of the season. Um, but, 
you know, I had to watch my teammates play without me and it killed me inside. But that allowed me to refocus and understand um, where I fell short and how I could improve um, just by simply watching um, and understanding I could be more of this team. And after that, I went on to be, be a four-time Pro Bowler, two-time first-team All-Pro, one-time second-team. Um, those are things um, that can be accomplished when you just simply just take a step back and focus on what you need to focus on. Um, I got injured uh, again before that uh, where I tore my elbow um, in the Sugar Bowl uh, of my senior year. Um, and I tore it up. I played the entire game with it. Um, didn't know how this would affect, affect my draft stock. Um, but sure enough, um, we get to draft night and um, you know, I work my tail off before draft night to even get to that point. Um, my name's getting passed up by a lot of great names, and I'm thinking, am I even going to get drafted in the first round? Um, and then, you know, we get towards the end, and it's Pittsburgh, and I had no clue. Even though I had family in Pittsburgh, and still do to this day, but having that um, was uh, a blessing. Um, it taught me so much about myself to be disciplined and just be patient. Um, shout out to my mom. Her big thing is patience is a virtue and it is, uh, it's, uh, really hit the, you know, the nail down and, you know, hammer on the nail. And I've just been very fortunate to have those moments in my life where I've got a chance to back up and just observe, um, and, and reflect on where I could be better. So I challenge you guys today to do that. Um, hopefully I didn't bore you too much, but, um, I've just, uh, I've been very blessed to be around great coaches, great people, um, great family um, that helped me get to this position. And I will con continue to give back. And uh, as you guys succeed in the future, continue to give back to the community, um, Gwinnett County or such, um, because uh, there could be someone that's watching you today um, that's just um, he's taking a step back and seeing how you approach things. So. Uh, thank you for letting me talk today. It's a pleasure uh, and stay safe.